What's up guys? First and foremost, I gotta say, sorry if I sound weird, my nose is a bit stuffy. Um, and the second thing is, I really not much to do today, so I tried to get Game Boy working on my phone. I tried it a few times before this, and I wasn't successful. But I finally got it working now, and my uh, lucky charm was Get Rom. And, uh, no, Rom Get, I keep on saying that, my bad. Rom Get is available in the Android Marketplace for $1.99. And when you first open up the app, you get a whole bunch of systems you can download uh, ROMs from. And you can also download BIOS files, which uh, you need to work certain emulators. When you open it up, you get the GBA BIOS and the PSX BIOS. If you just click on it, you can download the uh, the ROM. I don't. I'm not gonna download it because I already downloaded it before. And uh, when you're done with that, you can download a whole bunch of like Game Boy ROMs. I'll just show you what it looks like. There's a whole bunch of ROMs. It's just basically endless. And you can also search them. It's like if I want to download this crazy freaking Japan game, Japanese game, I can just do that and it's downloaded. When I'm done downloading it, I can go to Game Boy and I'll show you how to get the BIOS file ROM down. If you go into settings and click on the GBA BIOS, you can click on the... Uh, it was already downloaded from Get ROM, so if I just click on that, it's saved and when I open up a GBA game, it's ready to go. I'll download the game that we had from before. That didn't work, but I don't know why it didn't work. And it's working now. I don't think it was fully downloaded. Anyway, this is the game. I'm not going to screw around with it just because I don't know what they're saying. But I'll show you some settings you can tinker with when you open up Game Boy. You can adjust the scaling mode. So if I want to have, well, I have it stretched, so when I play a game, the whole entire screen is uh, the GBA screen. But you can also have it scaled down for the best quality of uh, graphics. You can have it two times, so two times the scaled volume and the original size. Um, that's really all there is for scaling. You can also adjust a whole bunch of other frame rates and uh, enable sound. If you go into input settings, you can use the virtual d-pad or you can turn it off and use key mappings. I have a corded keyboard phone so I can use the d-pad to play my games on. I'll show you what a game looks like. This is Mario Kart. I was playing it just a little while ago and uh, I screwed up on this map so I'm just gonna start up a new game. Ah. Lowering the volume just because you can't hear me talk. Basically, it's the same exact game if you have it on your Game Boy. It's just on your phone now. Um, this is Mario Kart Super Circuit. It's a pretty awesome game, I'm not going to lie. And uh, I have my key mappings as my A button is the A key and my B button is the S key. And my left trigger and right trigger is the Q and W. And my D-pad is my D-pad. Um, I'll show you a cup to choose from. I'll try to play Luigi Circuit. See how it is. I haven't played this one yet just because I just got this working today, so I didn't play every single map. Um, the controls aren't that bad. You gotta get used to them a little. They're kind of janky in the beginning, but you get used to them. And, uh, let's see how I do. Oh, I'm doing work. Oh. I don't get the, uh, the coin stuff in this. Oh, crap. I, see, that happens every once in a while. If I take my hand off the A button, or if I just hold it down for a while, it just stops. But anyway, um, I think that's enough of this. Yeah, uh, If you want to adjust the settings in here, you can go to cheats and do a whole bunch of cheats. You can get those offline. I tried to get some working on uh, Pokemon because I downloaded that, but it was a little confusing. I still got to work on that. But you can also save. You can fast forward. So, uh... Pretty cool. I'll just play and show you what's up. And I think I'm not sure how much this is fast forward by, but uh, it's pretty hard to play. All right, anyway, basically, there's more settings. You can do a screenshot. You can reset the game, or you can close. Um, that's really all there is to Game Boy. 
It's a really fun, it's a nice thing to have on your phone because there's fun, uh, Android games aren't like all there yet, how iPhone games are, so having a whole entire system on your phone, like, like a Game Boy Advance is really nice, especially with this QWERTY keyboard. It's great to have and it's really fun to play, so, uh, any other questions or if you want to learn how to do it and you didn't get it from this video, I have instructions over on my website. I'll have a link at the bottom of the bar and uh, peace out guys.